scholarship if he has from Clark. How does he do it? I think I think his wife does it. So I know, but it's not top. It's an ice cream cone, and then it's like a cupcake, like the cake in the cone, and then the frosting on top. Oh, so like it's, like it's like an all, ice cream. Yeah, exactly, oh. exactly. <laughs> a little different there. So how much do you embrace the uh, small lineup when you're looking at a seven foot one center on the <laughs> other side? No, definitely. I mean, Cockbrenner, he's one of the best big guys in the country. So, you know, you just got to be ready for the matchup. So if we do decide to go small, I'm going to have to be physical and, you know, just try to take advantage of what I could present, whether that's quickness or, you know, just trying to find other ways to protect the paint. So, I mean, he presents a huge challenge in general, even with seven footers guarding him. So, you know, we got to figure something out. How do you figure out how to, you know, fight for rebounds, but not get fouls? I mean, is that kind of yeah. a tricky balance there? Yeah, definitely. I think, especially if we go small or even if Samson's in there, we just got to, you know, block out the five man and you know, do whatever it takes for him not to get the rebound. So where the other four guys come in and get the rebound. But mainly with us is just grabbing the ball. We just do a, we, the ball just leaves our hands. We just, the other team gets it before us and we just got to be, do a way better job being tougher getting the ball. Have you ever matched up with Donovan in practice? I have. <laughs> I have. It went well. <laughs> it went well. <laughs> well, I mean, he's a big dude and, you know, just try to find other ways to, you know, get around him. But, Definitely Donovan. Matching up with Donovan Fresh is definitely helped me. Does that help you when you're preparing for Kyle Brenner? Yeah, all? definitely, definitely. I think they're basically the same size. So, um, you know, you, and they kind of, you know, do so much stuff with posts and big dudes. So, um, yeah, definitely. So Donovan's definitely helped us. You're, I know you're, you're obviously shooting the ball really well right now, but are you superstitious during a time like this where <laughs> you'll put the same socks? I mean, there are things that you do besides getting the gym. Um. Yeah, I do, I'd say same socks is definitely that. I definitely, half of it's superstitious with me, half of it's knowing that I trust in my work and the work's paying off. So I'm not as crazy superstitious as other people are. Right. So you're just, <laughs> other people. So anything else besides the socks? You're not going to keep the stitches in extra long? Or? No, 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 no more stitches to keep the shooting well. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think just trust the work's half of it and right. a couple superstitions here and there. Has it been you scrap? Did you guys yeah. celebrate at all? Uh, when you, you know, found out you were number one or, you know, how, how do you guys handle that since that was not? We just went straight back to work. We had, some of us went two days yesterday, some of us went three days yesterday. So um, really it was just back to work and you kind of felt, you had a sense that coach was more amped up and ready to go and just wanted more and more during practice yesterday. So, um, you know, it's a great compliment, but we have so much more to play for. And this just, it's like, you know, it can be taken from you at any second. So we just got to be ready to protect it. Has it been really scrappy and rebounding drills? I mean, Coach said that he needs you guys to be stronger and tougher in there. Have you been pushing each other the last couple of days? Yeah, definitely. You definitely see it in practice. It's just the toughness and the emphasis that the coaches are making and grabbing the ball, rebounding, being tough. And, you know, he always mentions just how the past teams are way tougher and this team hasn't met up to his expectations yet. So we got to continue to get better every day in practice with that. How do you feel are your chances in the uh, rebounding game? Because obviously everyone, everyone on the team has been saying that it's, it hasn't been up to standards. Do you um, feel if Donovan doesn't play tomorrow that you, still got, you guys still have a chance in that? Yeah, definitely. I think every game we just got to have that mindset into which we got to be the nastier team. And I think that was a huge emphasis today and yesterday. And I think I definitely will st we'll definitely start to see changes. A pretty good stretch coming up, Creighton and then have Villanova. Yeah. You look forward to games like that? Definitely. I mean, Creighton's one of the best teams in the country. Villanova, one of the best teams in the country, too. So, you know, that's the biggest for you. you every game's a dogfight, every game's a challenge. So, um, you just got to come ready to play. And, you know, these teams are really good. Really good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.